Hey guys, I'm Dog Lightning, a multi-challenger Nico support main, and I'm here to do a complete rundown on all the Nico mid scope update changes. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new Nico combo that is only made possible with the new mid scope. So stay till the end for that. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out my stream. I stream five days a week, Monday to Friday. 4 to 10 p.m. EST. I'll see y'all there. So obviously the biggest change in Nico is their passive. If you walk up to units now, you can mark them and then you can turn into them. And now you can lane gank the enemy as a minion. You can do this with also jungle camps. As you can see here, I can turn into a little Krug or you can do it with red buff, um, jungle plants, people's traps like shrooms. The only things you can't really do it are like structures and, you know, Baron, Dragon, and Herald. Um, you might think this is cheesy and it might not work, but trust me, I've been doing this on the PBE and it works in pretty much all elos. Maybe it won't work in Challenger, but it'll be working probably for you. So there are more changes to Nico's passive than just this. Nico's passive actually used to just get broken really easily. Anything from a Morgana W to a Zyra Plant Auto would just completely break your passive and put it on cooldown. But now Nico's passive only breaks when the unit would have killed whoever you turn into. So if you turn into a tank who has more HP than Nico, your passive's not breaking until death. If you turn into a minion, your passive's going to break whenever they would kill a minion. So basically, however tanky the person you turn into is how hard it'll be for the enemy to break your passive. The only exception... The only exception to this is CC breaks your passive instantly, which is fair because you should, if you run into the middle of the enemy team pretending to be a tank and they CC you, it should reveal you as Nico, obviously. Now, a really big thing to note is Nico's passive used to be a 20 second cooldown and the combo of Nico's passive being easily broken and the fact that it was a long cooldown led to like not being very optimal to use Nico's passive before. This is because if you didn't know Nico's ultimate, this ability can be prepared in secret if Nico's disguised. What this means is when you have Nico's passive up, the enemy doesn't see the ulti circle. This is invisible to the enemy whenever your passive's up. So the problem was, was since your passive was broken so easily before, and it was such a long cooldown, it wasn't worth using your passive. Because you always, always, if you take one thing from this video, always have passive up before you ult. So because passive was so easily broken before in such a long cooldown, I would never use passive. And people would always come to my stream, why don't you use passive? You never use passive. This is why. But I'll tell you one thing, ever since the PBE Nico came out and I've been playing mid scope Nico, I use the passive so much. The fact that the passive doesn't break easily and the fact that even if they do break it, the cooldown is so low you can get it again, there is no excuse to not be using your passive all the time. It is so much better now, guys. I can't even like explain how much better it is. Six second cooldown is crazy. Now, another thing to note is before if Nico broke the passive herself, it went on a full 20 second cooldown. Now, if I turn into a minion here and I use an ability, you can see the passive didn't go on cooldown at all. So you can basically, if I turn into an ADC and I use an ability, I can instantly go back into that ADC, which is also a very nice quality of life buff. Other than this, there weren't much more changes to their passive. So TLDR, her passive got tankier, her passive has a lower cooldown, and it has more uses because you can turn into lots of things on the map now. All right, now Nico's Q. So one thing I'll say is everyone I know is crying about Nico's Q. It lost 10 damage. Her lane phase is getting worse. Wrong. Let me explain to you why her scaling on Q got better and her lane phase actually got better on Q. So Nico's Q lost 10 damage off of the bounces, but it gained 10% AP ratio, which means once you have 100 AP, her Q does the same amount of damage, aka 70 AP on this Everfrost, um, you get a Dark Seal and your Minor Runes, you're doing the exact same amount of damage on one item spike. Now, you might say, how did her lane phase get better then if her damage went down early? I'll explain. So Nico's Q, the size, it got bigger. Riot Flux says he increased the size of it by 25 units. Now, why this means more damage means you can hit enemies from farther away. See this target dummy? This right now on live server, you would not be able to hit the enemy. But right now on PBE slash mid scope, which is being uploaded today. So today when you play Nico, this hits the enemy now. So if you hit the enemy with a Q level one, it does 80 damage. If you hit them with a Q that you wouldn't have hit before, that's 80 damage. So yes, you lost 10 damage if you're getting all the bounces. But if you hit a single Q that you were missing before, that's 80 damage. As you can see, this means that you're basically gaining damage in the early game because you're able to hit more Qs. On top of that, if you hit a center Q, because it's bigger, it'll take the enemy longer to get out, which means they're more likely to take an extra bounce, which is doing 35 damage a bounce. So because of the fact that enemies more likely to take more bounces, and because of the fact that your range got increased and it's harder to dodge the Qs, means you're actually in lane probably going to get more poke damage. Yes, your all-in burst got nerfed, but usually how you play Nico is you don't all-in burst someone at 100% HP. You slowly whittle them down with poke, and once they get to around 50% HP, you go all in. Well, now it's going to be easier to poke the enemy out with Q. So TLDR, the range of Q got increased, the size of Q got increased, making it easier to hit bounces, making it easier to hit poke, and the damage only got nerfed until one item spike, and after that, it's better. So overall, I think personally, Q is just buffed. Um, one last thing, actually, before I almost forget, her Q also got bonus damage to monsters, 30 to 70 based on level, and that's on each bounce. So this level one does 30, 60, 
90 bonus damage to jungle camps. AK, when you're doing your jungle clear, you throw a Q, and basically the camps just all die. Um, this is obviously a max level right now, but it's it's actually the same ratio. It takes two Qs to kill all the race there, um, and her clear is a lot healthier because of this. Nico's W. So finishing off where we finished with the Q, Nico's W also got a bonus 50 damage to monsters on every third auto. It doesn't scale with points, so at rank 1, it does the same as max rank, which is fine because you don't usually want to max your W when you're jungling anyways. So Nico's clone still works pretty much the same. You have every third auto gives you an empowered auto attack with move speed. If you pop your W, you get a clone and you get move speed and you're invisible, but there's one big difference to Nico's W now. If you push W again, you can control it, and this is really huge. It can also stand still. If I push W right here and push W again, it'll stand still wherever you threw it. Um, this is really big, because if you want to face check a bush, you can throw your clone in, make it stand still, and the enemy will believe you're in that bush, right? Because they see you go in the bush, they don't see you leave, and they'll think you're in the bush. So there's lots of mind games you can do with this. Um, another thing is if, for instance, an Ari ulted over the wall here, you can double tap your W like this, and you can use it to block a charm and hide behind it. Lots of uses with the W now. Um, there's You just have to keep playing with it, practicing, get good at it, because there's um, just too many things for me in this video to even talk about that you can do with W. So just get used to controlling it and controlling yourself at the same time. Um, and if you can start to master that, you can do a lot. Finally, there's two more things you can do with your W, though. One is if you throw your W and recall, it extends the duration of your clone to the full recall duration. If you have Baron, it's actually a nerfed version of this. Um, but it gets cancelled if the enemy damages it, so it's not like broken. But if the enemy doesn't damage it, you can keep placing vision and use it to play around. Um, likewise with this, the other thing you can do with it is you can do your BM. So if I do control one right now, you have an eco copter, right? So imagine going mid and throwing that in their lane and then going back bot lane, right? Just a little annoying. So yeah, these are the changes to Nico's W. Nico's Root. So Nico's Root didn't get many changes. By far, this is probably the only ability that I'd say is definitely nerfed compared to the Q that I said still had some buffs. The R will have some nerfs and some buffs. I think the root is definitely just nerfed, but it's not a big deal. So the root still works the same. If you hit a root, it gets empowered, and the second person gets double rooted. Everything's the same. The big only difference to this ability is it lost 10 damage base at all ranks, and it gained 5% ability power um, ratio. So what this means is... You're doing 10 less damage in your combo early game. Again, it's made up for hitting more Qs, but it's still nerfed on the E. On top of that, um, the ratio went up by 5%, which means the Q, you needed 100 AP to make it even out. The E, you need 200 AP to even it out, meaning basically when you're an item and a half spike, overall your Q and your E will be doing the same amount of damage. Other than that, there's not much to say about the E, it's literally the exact same. One thing to note about E in case you didn't know, you can actually buffer your E, so I'll just let you know now. You can E flash and it makes your E go off where you flash too. But that's not new, just figure I'll let you know. Okay, finally, one of the most controversial changes on Nico. Nico's R now has a knockup when she jumps in the air into a stun. What this means is before when Nico jumped in the air right now, the enemy could flash out and you would miss it. But that no longer is possible. If you R into a flash, the enemy cannot dodge your R. Now you might think this is broken. And you are right, it is kind of broken. But it was balanced around some heavy nerfs around the R. So one, the stun used to be a 1.25 second stun, but now it's only a 0.75 second stun. Now, with the knockup into the stun, it is still going to be longer than it was before. It was a 1.25 second stun. Now it's a 1.35 second knockup stun together, so it is extended by a bit. By the way, it used to be a 0.65 second stun, and I literally messaged Flox and told him to change it. And the reason is, is because Nico's R here, if you can see when I throw a root out of it, right now it can just chain it. But when it was a 0.65 second stun, you couldn't chain it. And I was really upset about this, so I messaged the devs, and I got them to change that. So you're welcome, Nico mains. But the reason why this is still kind of a nerf is because if the enemy has tenacity, if this person has tenacity, and I try to combo, the root will hit, but they can still dash. So if this was an Ezreal, he'll get rooted, but he'll be over here. If he has tenacity, and if they have two forms of tenacity, like the boots and the rune, they'll be able to completely dodge your root altogether. This is just something you're going to have to play around. Um, but overall, it's definitely a buff. Um, especially when you combo in the fact that if you put your passive up, then we can't see you casting alt, and then all of a sudden you flashed on them, and it's undodgeable. This is a really strong combo now. So some other nerfs to the R is its CD went up a lot. Um, this is actually a huge change, and I'm honestly, as support, I'm either going to be running Ultimate Hunter or CDR boots. If I'm mid lane, I would recommend just always taking Ultimate Hunter, to be honest, because the cooldown is a lot longer now, um, and I would recommend that. The ulti also lost the shield when you jumped in the air, which, yes, a lot of the time was useless, but a lot of the time it did help too. Um, but just remember that because you're pulling the enemy up when you knock up, that means they're not going to be doing damage to you during that time when they were before, so kind of evens out the shield and the damage got nerfed the base damage got nerfed and the ratio got nerfed by 30 percent people are really upset about this one thing i just want to note is if you were missing your alt before you were doing zero damage so the fact that you're always hitting your alt now and you can't miss it really means overall i would say her ulti is just buffed but in scenarios where you were hitting your alt before you're just losing damage and it, it, it does suck in that scenario but overall guys relax this is really really good nico changes 
So another thing I want to note about the ulti is because of the fact that your ulti starts with the knockup here, it actually means that you can do something on Nico you couldn't do before. Once you get four points in your root, you can actually root, and if you see your root land, you can ulti, and because of the knockup and the knockdown, you can actually true combo Nico's root into an alt now, where before you could not. Before if you root ulted, you needed Everfrost. So old Nico, you had to root ulti Everfrost to keep the enemy locked into your ulti, but you no longer need Everfrost to make this possible. Once you have four points in root, just a simple root into ulti is enough to true combo your alt if they don't have tenacity, obviously. Now for people who made it to the end of the video, the new combo. So the old Nico combo used to be you would ulti and you would E flash to lock them into your ulti. But again, you don't need to E flash anymore because your ulti flash locks them down. This opens up a new combo. So your Q has a little buffer. As you can see what that means, you can see when you cast your Q, there's a cast time. And if you see when I'm walking, I cast Q, it makes me stand still. I can't move. You can actually cancel this Q animation with your R. Meaning that if you R and then Q at the last second, your Q goes off and you don't actually have to worry about the animation of the Q because it's getting canceled by jumping the air. What this means is that when you're ulting, you can Q at the last second to guarantee your Q is hitting. So again, say the enemy has tenacity and you can't hit your root out of your ult. You can ulti, you can guarantee hit the Q and you can hold your root because you're not going to hit it out of it. And you still got your ulti and your Q damage in while holding your W and your E for escape. Um, this is the brand new Nico combo. It also works with your flash. So you can ulti and then you can Q flash to hit it, right? So again, your, your, your Q gets canceled the animation by the thing. So once again, you ulti and then Q flash. And you basically are guaranteed to hit your Q because as your Q flashing, they're knocked up and they're guaranteed to get hit by the Q with the bounces and the knockup and the stun. This is the brand new Nico combo, something that I recommend. It might take a little while to get used to doing it because it wasn't a combo you would ever do before. Because before, if you did a Q flash, the enemy would flash out of your ult and you'd miss all your Qs. Um, this is the new combo on Nico. I recommend you just get used to doing your fingers, getting the movements down. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch. If you're watching this video the day it came out, I am probably streaming right now. So come check out my stream if you want to see me do Nico mind games in Master Plus Elo, if that's something you're interested in. And I love y'all. I don't know. Random outro.